The convicted paedophile father Brendan Smith dies following a suspected heart attack. British nuclear fuels get go-ahead for controversial Thorpe reprocessing plant at Sellafield. Reopening of cattle trade with Egypt made more difficult by food scares abroad. And small businesses concerned at continuing petrol price rises. A very good evening. The convicted paedophile, Father Brendan Smith, has died in hospital after a suspected heart attack. Father Smith, who was serving a 12-year sentence for sexual offences, was taken from the Curra prison to hospital in Nace at around 6 o'clock this evening. He'd been exercising in the prison yard in the Curra when he collapsed. The 70-year-old Norbertine priest had been sentenced to prison last month on 74 counts of child sex abuse. He'd already served two prison sentences in Northern Ireland for similar offences committed there. It's less than three years since Father Brendan Smith first came to the attention of the Irish public. But within a few months he had shaken faith in the Catholic Church, embarrassed the hierarchy and contributed to the downfall of a government. It was in the north that his crimes first came to light and in October 1994 he pleaded guilty in Belfast to sexually abusing five boys and three girls over a 20-year period while he was a priest on the Falls Road. He was sentenced to four years, but his first conviction led to other victims coming forward in the north and he was subsequently sentenced to three years on 16 more charges involving another eight children. The public was appalled when it learned that the Catholic Church had consistently ignored complaints made against Father Smith, moving him from one diocese to another, even sending him across to Scotland, where he continued to abuse children. The hierarchy was embarrassed and initiated a policy on how to deal with child sexual abuse cases. However, no one could have imagined the political bombshell the case would turn out to be here in the Republic. Father Smith was in McGilligan prison just six months when a row broke out in the Dáil over a seven-month delay in the processing of an RUC warrant to extradite him from the Republic. Labour blamed the delay on Attorney General Harry Wheelahan. When Albert Reynolds appointed him to the presidency of the High Court, Labour walked out of government. Then, 20 more victims came forward, this time from nine counties in the Republic. Father Smith served just three years of his sentence in the North, and immediately upon his release, he was extradited to the Republic to face 74 counts of child sexual abuse here. Last month, Judge Cyril Kelly of Dublin Circuit Criminal Court sentenced Father Smith to 12 years for his offences. The judge said he knew Smith would be over 80 by the time he was released, but that he was a continuing danger in society. Brendan Smith, however, had served just four weeks before he collapsed in the prison yard of the Curra this afternoon and was pronounced dead ten minutes after his arrival at Nays General Hospital. Few could imagine that he would rest in peace. In Britain, the health and safety exam